Greetings, I'm Rob Kucher of Gurdjieff Games and Gardening. Uh, today I'm demonstrating how to protect the dust jackets of books. Um, here I have um, two RPG books by Avenger Satanus. Uh, now, this is not a, a review of uh, Chalt or Chalt Fuchsia Malays itself. I do highly recommend them if you if you like gonzo settings for your role-playing game sessions. But uh, besides that, the quality of uh, these books themselves are uh, above and beyond our other RPG books I've seen before. You can see that it has, um, it's cloth bound, um, foil stamped on the spine. It has a quality spine. Uh, the pages are printed in premium color and uh, the paper weight is quite heavy. I'd say it's even above a hundred pound weight for paper, which is very, very high quality. Uh, and Unusual for RPG books, this comes with a dust jacket. And so what I'd like to demonstrate today is how to protect your dust jackets for your books. Now, with uh, collectible books, uh, dust jackets can uh, represent about 50% of the value of the book. Now, I don't know if uh, Chalt will become collectible in the future. I know it's a limited print run. It says so inside the book, this is 621 of 2000. And uh, similarly with Chalt Fuchsia Malays, uh, this is 201 of 1000. Um, as you can see, this is also cloth bound, foil stamped, dust jacket, and again, uh, premium color pages. And very nice uh, uh, end pages there. Okay, so what you need to protect your dust jackets, you need some broad art. I'm gonna put this one aside. Need some mylar. Um, this comes with a center slit paper backing, and so what? And you also need a uh, bone folder. This is used for creasing uh, the mylar to fit, and also scoring. Although we won't be doing any scoring today. Um, let's see. You also need. A good pair of scissors and maybe scotch tape we'll see if or some tape we'll see if we actually need that so so first what we need to do is remove the dust jacket and i'll set this aside and now what we do want to roll out our mylar. So that it will fit this dust jacket. I keep rearranging things here. <laughs> uh, okay, put that there. Take the dust jacket, put it face down. And we also want to use our bone folder to flatten it a little bit. It'll make it a little bit easier. You don't want to do this too hard because if you do, you will you will crease the dust jacket. You only want to do it a bit lightly. Then, 
Now, if you, these come, um, some of these um, Mylar protectors come with um, this paper backing. Sometimes it's center slit. They're center slit and some, and they have um, um, just uh, not slit down the middle. And so what you would do then is you would, you, you would, you would work with it a little differently. But what you do is you're gonna slide this in here on one side. Make sure it gets up to the edge there. Then you want to bring this under. Before we do that, we wanna we do want to size this a bit. So let's um, gonna cut over here. You wanna leave some excess here, um, maybe in a couple of, an inch or two. You don't wanna cut right up against the. book uh, cover itself because then you, there's a chance that you'll cut the cover. You don't want to do that. Okay. Then. Okay. Okay. I just want to take a look at that. This is right up against that top edge here inside. Okay, now you can see through that. Let's just take a let's just show the other side so you can see what, what's happening here. Okay. So you can see. The dust jacket is inside the mylar. I do want to bring that right up to the edge. Although I might, we might not need this paper backing um, because this is such a thick book cover we might be able to do without it. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, this one's attached. Okay, so we can't do that. All right, so what we'll do instead this is the first time I'm working with a center slip kind, so it's a learning process here. I'm gonna make sure it's right up to the edge. And then you want to fold here. And we're gonna use the you want to make sure you're not folding the cover itself. Uh, make sure you're just folding that dust jacket. Make sure it's right to the edge. Okay, yeah, you can see the edge there. Looking good. Okay. Now, hold this edge. Very carefully. You don't want to fold the 
stuff jacket itself. Precise uh, attempt with this kind. Oh, it's looking okay. All right now, we take our book. Careful when you're folding the sides here. You don't want to crease it too much. But you do want it to, to fit. It's a, doing a little bit of an issue with the paper. Okay, well, there you have it. I'm uh, not too satisfied with the center fold. So I might remove the paper. You can kind of see it here. It's not really necessary um, to have that paper backing. And I also believe it's causing that to puff up a bit. So um, I do think that paper backing is attached, so I may need to just um, just be content with that. Oops, let me move this over a bit. Take this. So this closes a bit easier. Okay. Uh, well, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. Uh, I hope I didn't mumble too much. Um, and as a first attempt, I don't think that's too bad. So, uh, again, thanks for watching.